entirely. Right, okay, I'm watching Ass Hat Tenno. Cephalon jizz in your face. Um, <laughs> his, well, video there of, um, D.E. Scott versus Simulacrum. I'm not chiming in on bits about the, the Simulacrum. I know what's up with that argument. <laughs> I know the... And I know, I know, I know what's up with that. I'm gonna chime in about something uh, different. I think that's far back enough. And make them naked or something. Make some, put a <laughs> hidden Easter egg in there that if you accomplish a 10 hour survival solo with no fucking mods or something like that, that you can play Warframes in nude. The <laughs> Warframes themselves will be nude. Watch the player base jump up. <laughs> You guys did this. You guys are the ones that groomed <laughs> the player base that you have now. C content creators, you know why content creators upload the build videos and all the other videos that they do? Because that's what people are hungry for. Power creep. That's it. If I upload a video right now, right? The identical video, the same damn video, same script, same footage, everything's the same. The only thing changed between the two videos would be the title and the thumbnail. The one. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hey, ass hat Tenno, Cephalon jizz in your face. You, you're you're right about DE grooming the player base. Absolutely, mate. I'm I'm just gonna say you're right about that, and move on from the point because that's something that can be addressed later because it's. Uh, <clears throat> It's not um it's not as it's not as big an issue to me right now. What I'd like to talk about is the the power creep. Quite simply, enemies scale far too aggressively because they're on uh, you know what, if, if you're uninitiated, you don't understand the, the language I'm about to use, go fucking look it up. Bullshit disclaimer aside, uh, the, the enemy scaling is on a logarithmic scale, which uh, logarithmic, exponential, same damn thing. It should be linear, not logarithmic. Players don't scale logarithmically. Fuck no. Players scale based on the enemy. And most of the time, player scaling isn't there at all. Hold on, let me think for a moment. There's, there's, a, there's very few, very few number of things in the game that actually scale with enemies. Very few. Now, because of that... Like I said, uh, status and critical make it to where the, it's doing that percentage of the damage for that uh, for the the critical or the status. It's doing that percentage. the 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 fucking critical is doing that that percentage of the critical or the. Uh, the status is doing that percentage of the status and because it's uh, because it's gonna be a percentage gonna have to balance that with well do we do the point value versus the enemy health armor and shield pool or do we do the percentage value versus the enemy health armor and shield pool? Well, DE, you 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 guys are gonna have to take a uh, uh, what what's a good word to use for this? A lesson from World of Warcraft. After a certain uh, amount of progress in Warcraft you deal percentages to the enemy 
not point values. Point values become just a means of by which to say, hey, look, I've, I've got this amount. I'm doing this percentage to blah, blah, blah. It, it's all about percentages from uh, mid-game to, well, let's see, there's, there's early, early, mid, mid, et cetera, et cetera. From early mid-game all the way to the end of World of Warcraft, it's all about doing percentages of damage to the enemy health, armor, and shield pools comparatively to Warframe. Warframe is a lot like uh, World of Warcraft in the regard that you have hordes of enemies and oh, this is a, this is a really this is an issue I've been going on about before players aren't nearly as powerful as they should be you can tie it in and, and say, okay, we can make mastery rank mean something by giving the player more power to work with at a, a certain mastery rank level. Yeah, and D, you can put in more mod cards. You can do uh, IPS stat elements. You can do fucking regular stat elements, which you've already got in. You can do fucking um, IPS critical, stat critical. Um, you can do a fucking myriad of other mods, mod cards that need to be made and put out. Not just what you've got because it's extremely limited. It doesn't offer a wide base value and the mod card system is the meta. It doesn't offer the wide base value for those diverse builds that you guys want to see. Uh, fuck. Uh, at rank 15 of Mastery Rank, give four more mod card slots for the, the baseline across the board for everything. As far as a later in the Mastery Rank, I don't know, 20 or 25? Either at 20 or 25, give four more so that you double the mod card slots. And with Warframes, the Aura and the Exilus, double those. Uh, with weapons, with stance mods, you can't give an extra stance. You can give an extra Exilus or an extra regular mod card slot. Work it out how you're going to do it. Fucking train. Power creep. Um, switch over from the point value system to um, a hybridization of both the point value system of how many points of damage you're doing and a percentage value system for enemy scaling in the endless game modes. That way, and you're going to have to make mod cards for that specific thing that you have to add in for proper scaling of the player's ability to actually handle <laughs> these things and make builds for it. Fucking hell. That rumbling from that train is just throwing off my train of thought. So a hybridization of both the point value system and the percentage value system. And the percentage value system is going to be used moreover for the endless, infinitely scaling, as it were, enemy of uh, waves of waves of enemies and defenses survivals and uh, what's that other one fucking forgot uh, interceptions and the the fourth one the new one I forgot what it's called 
You know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, yeah, throw all that in. Throw in the extra four mod card slots at rank 15 of Mastery, and then at rank 20 or 25, throw in another four, doubling the number of slots people can use. Definitely do that. As far as uh, giving extra capacity number for people to throw in those extra mods, I think for me personally, I can wait to address that until after the uh, initial testing phase for the public release of the extra mod card slots and the uh, hybridization of percentage value and point value is put in place and the percentage value is going to have to be applied uh, you're doing this percentage of the enemy's health shield and armor you're going to have to apply it that way and um, Setting a, a minimum and a maximum for a percentage system. No, well, let's let's start with a nice wide bracket. No less than a minimum of one percent damage to the enemy, in for obvious reasons here. You're going to have to play test it yourselves and decide, okay, within this bracket, what's the best number to start with? And then you progressively go up from there. No less than 1%. Nothing should ever be less than 1% in this uh, type of game. Not the drop rates for things. And nothing should be less than 1%. Especially the fucking... Yeah, and this is a fucking tangent, but it is relevant... Especially the fucking status proc on the Stug. Get real. Seriously. And no more than a maximum of 10%. Because at 10%, if you're, if you're doing 10% base damage to enemy health overall of true damage, or as close to true damage as possible before you apply uh, status effect and critical then you're you're gonna get damn near close to one-shotting extremely high level stuff especially if you have a fuck ton of critical and a, a fuck ton of base damage so no more than 10 percent just to start with and then you play test that you get feedback from reputable uh, decent critically minded analytically minded people not just yourselves play testing internally once you put it out for public test let, let everyone know hey <laughs> this is gonna be changed we just don't know how right now because we need to get more information than just you know between ourselves be honest about it but seriously, Warframe definitely needs what I'm throwing out and saying as, as far as similar regard to power creep. People want the power fantasy. And uh, that terminology was used in, in some other YouTube videos by some other people. Don't just dangle it in front of people and say, here, chase it. No, no, no. Let people acquire it. The mastery rank is there as a tool for people to earn things in the game. Like the ability to just go into a mission and farm resources for a few minutes as opposed to days and get what they need and move the fuck on to what's next. So make mastery rank mean something. Make it mean more than, oh, I've played and put this much time into the game. Because right now that's what it means. It means I've put this much time into the game at a base most lef level. It means absolutely nothing past that. 
it doesn't mean I've acquired this awesome level of power and earned it through diligence and effort. It doesn't mean anything of that sort. So make it mean that. Oh, let's do I say it. It's the same thing. It's the same thing I went off about last year or so ago. Same damn thing. Nothing's changed. The only difference now is that other YouTubers I'm seeing are calling it out. Because they're sick of the, the same old shit. Where you guys at DE, you say, oh, we're going to do this, and it turns out to be a net nerf. Yeah, every, every one of us, not just uh, content creators, but all the players who have been there for any more than a couple of months, we're all sick of um, coming up against a, a brick wall known as... Um, enemies who are more powerful than us and and it just leads us all to question why the fuck even give enemies shield gating i mean you did that to even out the playing uh field because uh enemies are on this logarithmic exponential growth chart that just it, it's exponential growth and players are on a, a linear one at best, and there's there's only a few frames or weapons. There's only like one or two or three, at the absolute most, that will scale with the enemy. Uh, Hildren's fucking uh, third ability scales with the enemy. Um, I keep wanting to just call her Vampire Frame, but that is not her fucking name. Garuda. One of her abilities uh, comes damn near close to scaling with the enemy. Um, and just throwing out more health and armor for the frames like you guys did, it, it hadn't done jack fuck all. It really hasn't. I used to be able to go for an hour in a <laughs> with a necros I used to be be able to go for an hour and and just in medium level stuff and now in the same stuff I can barely get 15 minutes that's the difference between before update 27.2.2 and after the update that's the difference the S curve doesn't mean jack shit when you when you change the uh, the spread, it, it doesn't mean anything. When you give a um, a damage increase to a particular faction, and you make it to where that S curve just doesn't mean shit. It's still a logarithmic scale. Player abilities. Do not escalate at all. That's why you've got people like Asshat Tenno, Cephalon Jizz in your face, saying, oh yeah, we have to cheese the system in order to get any fucking where in the game. We have to make these insane things against brain dead IA, AI, whatever, fucking words now. Bullshit. Fucking idiotic. That's why you're getting this type of feedback from everyone, DE. Just stop being fucking stupid. Stop listening to idiots. Get your heads out of your ass. Stop doing the whole fraction frame thing. Fraction frame. 
fuck it, words. Think of it in terms that, you know, you put yourself into, huh? Do that first. Just seriously. Think about how you would choose to act in the same situation. Think about it. Because it's all boiling down to the same bullshit that it's always been about. Power creep, power fantasy, they're just, just synonyms. Same damn thing. Let us earn it by making Mastery Rank mean some fucking thing. Put the mod cards in and the system at the base damage level for all the weapons and frame abilities to scale with the enemy level. Change the system from logarithmic to linear. Instead of exponential growth, a linear growth, a line. And fuck, I'll talk with you guys and discuss how to bracket out that linear system so that it provides an appropriate level of um, increase for whatever, you know, infinitely scaling mission type you want to accomplish, okay? It's no, it's no problem. I'll talk it out in like 5, 20 minutes maybe. It'll be over and done with. Then it'll be like three months of coding, which is going to be a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> and then probably three days worth of compiling, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Anyway, seriously. What I'm talking about with the, the extra capacity to throw in more mods and the base stats reworked to where um, it includes the hybrid system of the point value and the percentage value so that your players can scale with the enemy instead of uh, you know moving moving hitting a brick wall you know think about it just think about it Same thing that World of Warcraft did. They had the same hybrid system I'm talking about. And if you don't believe me, go look. Go look at their UI. Go look at the, their enchants for their uh, weapons and armor. Go look at their gems and sockets and, and fucking base stats for weapons. Just go look at it. At the beginning of the game, it'll start with point values. Then later on, it'll change to the hybrid of point value and percentages. That's exactly what you guys need to do with Warframe. And when people make these massively powerful builds that one-shot level 1,000 plus enemies, let them go, man. Just let them the fuck go. Let them have the power fantasy they've earned and acquired, okay? Let them go for it. Just let that be. It's fun to do that. You know, what do you do with, with, it, with a, a fucking kid who gets a new toy? You, you let them play with it. Eventually, th they'll stop playing with it so much. And they'll move on to something different. It's the same damn thing with us playing with the fucking uh, power fantasy in the game. After we get it and we play with it for a while, we'll move on. And then you'll have uh, people doing fucking challenge videos and shit. Especially if you throw in mod cards that allow you to have negative, <laughs> negative uh, spreads uh, on the values and everything not just the uh, positive ones and if you've got the, the positive ones for increasing damage and all this do the negative ones as well 
let people throw stuff on to do those absurd builds for challenge videos and to have the fucking fun with it. Give people a massive base spectrum of your game's meta. I'm not talking about most efficient tactics available, no. I'm talking about the metadata. Like the core coding. You programmers, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? Some of you programmers in, in DE over there, explain it. The meta of the game is the mod card system. That's what makes or breaks a, a weapon or a frame from being complete garbage or viable. Or fucking insanely powerful. Kind of like that coronavirus is all that I made. And I'm going to have to throw this in there just for everyone's sake. I don't use the simulacrum with the enemy's AI turned off. I have them turned on because they apply a, a stat sheet of buffs and debuffs to themselves when they're active. That gives more accurate representation and results of what's really going to happen in the game. That's how I'd like to test things. If I just wanted to, you know, stroke my psychological dick to a bunch of fucking numbers exploding out of things, then I would be a fucking idiot having a, a all 20 fucking max level enemies just standing there while I melt them with the most overpowered fucking build I could find. Instead of making one myself, which is my fucking Zaw. My fucking coronavirus is all. That was fun. And I've still got some tweaking to do on that one. And my reaping criticism build. So, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm going to test those against uh, a few things. And then I'm going to go into an actual mission and fuck with them there. Come to think of it, that Reaping Criticism build. I've just recently managed to hit over one and a half million in critical damage. Still got a lot of tweaking to do. And I would love to have double the mod card slots so I could slap some extra cards on and make it even more powerful. That'd be fucking fun. Anyway, there. I've rambled on enough. Probably too long. So, till next time, fuck right off.